The UN says some 95% of Afghans aren't getting enough food to eat. This in a country facing its worst drought in 40 years, in addition to an economy in free fall. The biggest impact of all this is on the most vulnerable, Afghanistan's children. UNICEF says more than 1 million children under the age of 5 this year could become so malnourished they'd be on the verge of death. Their tiny bodies wasting away from hunger. These infants at the Minways Hospital in Kandahar province are dangerously underweight. Their immune system severely compromised. Medical staff here are seeing cases like this in alarming numbers. Mothers are helpless to ease their baby's distress. Both desperately need food. Dr. Mohammed Yakub Sharafat tells us that 20 to 30 percent of the babies in this neonatal ward are malnourished. Suddenly, he rushes to the side of one who stopped breathing. For five minutes, we watched him pump his heart until he comes back to life. But for how long? Look at this child. Two and a half years old. His name is Mohammed. He's malnourished. How much food is she able to give her child at home? Why does, why does he look like this? His mother says she's had nothing but breast milk to feed him, but now can't afford enough to eat to keep producing even that. It's the same for Shazia. Her seven-month-old baby has severe pneumonia. If we have food for lunch, we don't have anything for dinner. Emergency aid managed to stave off an outright famine over the winter. But now food relief efforts are struggling to keep pace. And agencies are warning of worse to come. Here in Kandahar City, entire families are struggling to feed themselves. This mother's eight-month-old son died from malnutrition just weeks ago. Now she fears for her other children. If someone doesn't help or support us, I fear my other children will also die of hunger. But with war in Ukraine threatening global grain supplies, Afghanistan's cries for more food are becoming increasingly difficult to answer. Life has never been easy here, but now it is harder than ever. To the people here, all these children, they just don't have enough to eat and that it feels like they are being forced slowly but inevitably towards starvation. Combating hunger is a fundamental pillar of our faith tradition. Of the earliest revelations, brothers and sisters, even before Allah legislated prayer five times a day, even before Allah legislated Psalm of Ramadan, even before Allah legislated the zakat. Imagine before you had to pray, there was one commandment to worship Allah and the second commandment that came down in the Quran, the second commandment was to feed the hungry. And the believers are those who give of their own food, even though they need that food, but they give it to others and they give it to the faqir, to the miskeen, to the prisoner of war. And Allah says, when they give of their food, they say to the person, don't thank us, don't thank us. We are feeding you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.